Father, we ask as your word come forth in this short moment, bless our hearts, increase our understanding, lighten our darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll be teaching on a two-part series and I will title my message, Becoming a World Changer. Becoming a World Changer. Let's see scriptures in Matthew 5 verse 16. Matthew chapter 5, 16. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven so that means that the scripture is so instructive god here was trying to tell us and let us know that as a believer in christ you are supposed to be seen you are supposed to be seen you are not created to hide you are created to be seen you are not created to be one-sided you are created to be known he said let it that word let signifies permit he said permit it allow your light to shine that men will see your good do you know why because there are many accreditations and there are many credit they will not ask ascribe to your father except you are known you are the mirror to god so if you refuse to shine god will not be known i repeat myself you are the mirror to God. So if you refuse to shine, God will not be known. And you should know that you're not created for small things. You're not created to be small. You're created to be above. You are created to be above. There are many things you are supposed to know that will aid you in becoming a world changer. And we're going to see two in this part and then we'll continue by next broadcast. Number one, mindset, mindset, mindset. The only person that can stop you is you. The only person that can stop you is you, not God and not Satan. If the Bible said, I said before you life and death, that means God won't stop you. God has given you the permission. Satan doesn't have the authority or the power to stop you. The only person that can stop you is you. How far you actually think is how far you become. How far you think is how far you become. The extent of your mind. Philip 1 14, the Bible said, Without your mind, I can do nothing. You can't be thinking small and you become big. It's not possible. You can't be thinking small and you become big. Before you become, you must think it. It is inside out, not outside in. So if you see yourself as a local champion, no matter what you do physically, you will remain a local champion. No matter what you do physically, you remain a local champion. You must remove the cobwebs in our mind and believe from the little states that we are right now. You are going to have a global vision. Your mind should be in accordance to the word of God. As a man thinketh in his heart, the Bible said, so is he. Not so he will be, so is he. You are at the same equilibrium with your mindset. You cannot be bigger than your mind. No matter where you are now, your mind determines your tomorrow. Your mind determines your tomorrow. Not what you are doing, but your mind. You must realize that your mind is what determines your height. Your mind is what determines your height. You cannot be massaging smallness and you're praying for big things. It's not possible. Mind this and know this today. You have been created to be a world changer. The Bible says, let your light permit your light. Don't allow environment to peg you. Don't allow environment to plateau you. You have been created for more. And number two, begin from your Jerusalem. You want to change the world? Begin from your Jerusalem. Acts chapter 1 and in verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria. Now, watch this carefully. When God said, all the most part of the earth it was he started from jerusalem most people want to change outside but they don't want to start from inside how are you in that your classroom how are you in that your workplace how are you in that your classroom is a determinant factor if you will go far 
how do you how do you coordinate your Jerusalem you must know this Jesus told them to first change their Jerusalem before they look at the outermost part of the earth if you want to be a world changer begin from your little angle begin from your little angle begin from your little angle begin from that little space what you do at your immediate space will determine what you will do at your outside space begin from a little angle that little job they gave to you do it as if you're doing the job for a king that little tax you've been given do it as if you're doing the job for a president it begins from a jerusalem so i want to say this everybody watching this broadcast i am so sure by the intelligence of the holy ghost as you begin to fine-tune your mind and as you begin to pay attention to your jerusalem you will never remain at the same spot in the name of jesus christ your life is moving from where you are to where god has ordained you to become in the name of jesus you are declared blessed i am so sure that testimonies are already flowing just listen to this broadcast in the name of jesus christ i love you Queen. have a nice time see you next time in jesus name shalom